Hi, this is Atif Khan, VP Solution Architecture at Viptela. Today we're going to talk about uh, transitioning from MPLS WAN to a hybrid WAN in a seamless manner. Uh, this is where you introduce uh, broadband network or broadband WAN uh, into the mix. So let's uh, start by uh, going over the diagram I have on the whiteboard. Uh, let's assume that uh, in the beginning what you have is MPLS WAN. You have uh, different sites. There, there's site 1, site 2, and site 3, and they're connected uh, via the MPLS WAN. And now uh, you can introduce hybrid WAN in different uh, ways. So there are different options of doing it. So one is you introduce the broadband uh, network. You connect a Viptela VEDGE uh, at these sites. Yeah, so here we are showing site 1 and site 2. They have Viptela VEDGES. And you orchestrate an overlay only on the broadband. So uh, if, uh, you can refer to my previous uh, or the other videos uh, where I talk about uh, uh, the uh, Viptela Secure uh, overlay, uh, which is orchestrated by the vSmart in this case, which is a controller. And uh, uh, you can do routing in such a way that uh, you can use the overlay as the primary from a given site and MPLS as a backup, or you can uh, load balance between the two. You can send some traffic over the overlay uh, on the internet or the broadband and some traffic on MPLS, or you can make MPLS a primary and overlay the backup or vice versa. Uh, the other thing is uh, uh, you may have uh, a network within a site. If it's say a layer two uh, network, then you can run VRRP on the VEDGE and VRRP on the existing router, and you can make one the primary, the other the backup. If it's a layer three network, you can run protocols such as OSPF, and you can then again do the same thing, prefer one WAN uh, exit as uh, the, the primary and make the other as a backup, or you can do load balancing, uh, equal cost multipath uh, uh, between the two. Uh, the other option uh, is where you can orchestrate an overlay on both transports. So rather than having overlay on the internet and using MPLS as is, uh, you can orchestrate the overlay in such a manner that it spans the, the two transports. So in this case, uh, if you look at site one, there are two options. One is where you can connect the VEDGE directly to MPLS or you can connect the VEDGE to the existing router and it can use the existing router as a transport uh, to MPLS. Uh, similarly, on the other side, side two, which is connected to both transports, you can do the same thing. Either you connect it to existing uh, router or you can go directly to the MPLS uh, network here as well. And uh, uh, why would you uh, do the overlay or orchestrate the overlay on both transports? Well, one of the reasons could be that uh, you would like to measure the performance characteristics of each of the transports. So uh, you may want to use the performance characteristics to do certain things such as application aware routing. And then you can uh, refer to my other video on application aware routing for details on how that is uh, done. But primarily, uh, in brief, uh, it's, uh, you can define policies on the controller, on the centralized controllers, and you can have certain type of application traffic take a certain transport based on uh, the performance uh, requirements. So another thing to consider here is uh, how you connect between uh, sites which are on different uh, transports. Uh, let's say you have a site uh, which is connected to broadband, you have a site which is connected to MPLS. Uh, let's say we put a VEDGE here also uh, to orchestrate uh, the overlay. And now again, this VEDGE can be connected directly to MPLS or it could connect to the existing router and use it as a transport uh, to MPLS. Uh, so in case of a single overlay, uh, you can have direct data plane between any of these VEDGES uh, provided that your uh, transport uh, allows it. So you can have uh, uh, a direct uh, data plane or direct uh, secure uh, data plane from site four all the way to this site, which is site uh, uh, three. And uh, uh, also, if you did not want uh, direct uh, connectivity between uh, site four and site three, and say you wanted uh, this to go through a certain service such as a firewall, then you can 
also introduce uh, uh, those services uh, using our uh, service chaining uh, function uh, functionality and you can get more information on service chaining uh, by referring to my other uh, video on service chaining um, and uh, if uh, say there was overlay only on the broadband and there was no overlay on the MPLS then you would need to connect between the uh, broadband only site uh, to the uh, in, uh, MPLS only site you would connect through a site which is connected to both uh, transport so in in that case you can go uh, from say site 4 to site 2 and there will be routing between the MPLS domain and the overlay domain there and then you would go and uh, your traffic would get routed uh, into the MPLS uh, domain from the overlay site. So in summary you have two options to introduce uh, hybrid WAN. One is where you do the secure overlay only on the broadband and leave uh, MPLS as is whereas the other option is where you orchestrate a single overlay on both uh, transports and uh, you're able to uh, uh, benefit from all the overlay functionality which is provided by Webtella uh, in that case.